Hey guys, this is Nia and today I'll be painting a chocolate dessert. Someone requested something with chocolate so I decided to paint a chocolate brownie with walnuts topped with ice cream and chocolate sauce garnished with a sprig of mint. The request was for something chocolate like a brownie or a chocolate cake and I also wasn't sure if he or she meant like a small illustration with different types of chocolate or what exactly he or she wanted to see from this illustration so I just decided to incorporate um, something with three types of chocolate elements which is the cakey brownie, the chocolate ganache as the frosting and the chocolate syrup to show the different textures of chocolate and how you can separate those textures with colors and the direction of your brush strokes. The colors that I used here are quite limited. I stuck to light red and burnt umber with a little bit of yellow ochre and purple for added shading for the cake and other chocolate elements yellow ochre with light red for the walnuts and lemon yellow with olive green and permanent green deep for the mint from the koi palette here i'll be showing you a speed paint of this cake but if you're interested i was thinking of doing a simple food illustration tutorial maybe in the future I did have something like this planned out but I haven't um, come around to doing it yet because I'm trying to figure out how to break it down since it's not as easy to break down as um, flower tutorials but yeah I'm willing to give it a go if enough of you are interested in it this painting took me around a total of one hour to do it was fairly simple with little layering. I guess I was trying to simplify some food illustrations just to experiment and see what style or way of painting I actually prefer. I used um, fairly loose reference for this painting and added more elements that I wanted, which is what I usually do in my paintings in general. I'm really still at a very experimental stage where I just try different things almost every time I paint so I never really follow a set of rules which is why I won't be doing explanations along with this painting. I really feel like I don't paint enough even though I've been painting more than I've ever been recently and I seem to always have this huge interest in food painting for some reason. I always feel like food looks more alluring and delicious when it's painted. Like when I watch anime, I totally love food scenes, it's so mesmerizing to watch. And even though I'm not a huge fan of hyper realistic paintings, I find that fairly realistic food illustrations are still much more pleasant than photos of food even than the real thing. It's not that I don't appreciate hyper-realistic art, those artists who are capable of, um, of that are really amazing. I would never have the patience of painting something so accurate that it resembles the reference photo, but I love seeing textures from different mediums because that's the sort of freedom that I'm looking for in art. I'm looking for the balance to make the food illustration that I make as alluring as those in animation series but also still has a realistic uh, element to it. It's so hard to explain probably because I'm, I also can't 100% visualize what I want but I guess this is such a normal stage where people experiment and discover what they're mostly drawn to in art and experiment until they find what they're comfortable with. I'm not even sure that that will ever be reached but I guess that is just um, the way you keep searching and growing as an artist by the way that feels really weird because I really don't consider myself as an artist even though I am thinking of maybe pursuing art more seriously 
the title of an artist just seems so weird like what makes you enough to be called an artist would you need a degree to consider yourself as an artist what do you guys think i'd really love to hear your opinions on this what would qualify someone as being called an artist it's just a thought i think it'll be really interesting to hear what you guys have to say about this all I know is I find myself easier to identify as the degree that I have. I can consider myself as a graphic designer even though I'm not exactly in the field anymore. But the degree makes me feel like at least I have the qualifications to call myself that. But maybe if I finally decided that I want to do this as a full-time job and if it is an art, Maybe that would make it easier for me to say that, yes, I am an artist. Maybe it's just a mixture of self-doubt since I've been trying out different things that I really like doing, but I haven't found the one that I could stick with as a career. But so far, I've really been enjoying putting out videos. So we'll just see what happens after I pass the total watch time of 4,000 hours if this is a real possibility for something full-time or not. It's still a bit far off to reach, but I'll just see how it goes. Not gonna lie though, the thought of doing this full-time does get me excited. It's so flexible in terms of what I produce and in terms of time. On top of that, it's also very interactive. I'd love to get to know people more. It's so gratifying to hear comments saying, They've started watercolors and found some of my tutorials useful. Like, even though I'm just painting by myself in my room, I can somehow make a tiny impact to other people, even if I don't know who and what and where and why. It's just an interesting feeling to reach out to different people. I've never had formal training in watercolor. So everything that I share is just how I've come to break down the process in my head. And I thought I'd share it with people and hope that it somehow makes sense. So those comments that people leave and the fact that people don't only understand my approach but it helps them to learn is kind of awesome. In the meantime, I'll also try to learn more about editing and hopefully I can make better quality videos and better content and maybe clearer um, tutorials and things. Anyway, that's enough of my chit chat for today. I hope you guys find this painting fun enough to watch and maybe you can still get something out of watching me paint this cake if you're interested in food illustration. Yeah, I guess um, that's all I've got to say for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the painting and I'll see you at the end of the video. So we are almost done with this painting. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. I hope that it was enjoyable enough to watch the process and the progress of this painting. It would be even better that you guys get something out of this video. 
Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day or night depending on where you are from and I'll see you at the next video. Bye!